You might think that you have nothing to hide, but the fact is that you have everything to protect. There are people online who know who you are and who know what you're doing online. If you use the internet, you have an online identity, whether you like it or not. Your IP address is this unique identifier that's assigned to the device that you are using to connect online. This could be your computer, this could be your cell phone, or your tablet. And this unique identifier is actually able to pinpoint your exact location on the map. Many of the risks we encounter in the online world are coming from far away attackers. But when you're using hotspot Wi-Fi, for example, in a cafeteria, the risk is much closer. The person sitting next to you in, in the next table could be recording the whole Wi-Fi session, meaning they can see everything you're doing. Any unencrypted connection from your systems can be recorded as whole, and they can see exactly where you are and exactly what you do. There's plenty of things that we do online where we don't need anonymity. For example, building your LinkedIn profile. Well, you're already doing it with your own name and your own photos, so we don't really need anonymity there. But then there are things where we do need it. Um, for example, you might be searching information about some embarrassing illness that you might have. And then when we look at the younger generation who are posting pictures of, of goofing around and Periscope videos about doing stupid stuff, they probably don't think about it, but they don't want it to be linked back to their real-world identity. And they probably don't want those things to stay there forever online. The worst case scenario is that a user becomes a victim of harassment or stalking or threats or any of the possible bad things that might happen because bad people out there know too much about you. The way to maintain your anonymity online is to use encryption. Encryption works. And there's multiple different ways you can implement encryption for your network traffic. But by far easiest is by using a VPN. A VPN like our Freedom. The VPN tunnel encrypts your information by turning something that is humanly readable into something that is no longer readable by humans and is virtually uncrackable. It uses this information to travel from your location to the destination website that you are visiting. Many people think that browsing incognito is actually enough. But although it helps a bit when it comes to tracking, it doesn't really remove your online location. So it still zones into your geographic location. The difference with Freedom is that with anti-tracking, it actually already garbles your online profile. And then with VPN, it also removes your online location. So you become this online ninja who comes from somewhere, goes somewhere else, but they don't know exactly what you're doing or where you're from. Going online without a VPN is like walking downtown wearing a shirt with your name and home address printed on the front and your browser history printed on the back of it. Unless you protect yourself, you lose parts of yourself every time you go online. You lose bits and pieces of your personal information. And it's up to you to fight this. It's up to you to protect yourself and to take control.